guys, what's up? It's your girl Bria and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Yes, and today's video is going to be a story time video. As you can see, as the title said, I got arrested the day before my birthday. Not the best birthday wish you want. <laughs> so I got arrested the day before my birthday all over a school fight. They said I wasn't defending myself and I had handcuffs on me ready to go. So, let me get right into it, okay? Because I know you guys are dying to know how the hell did she almost get arrested the day before her birthday. So, here's the thing. It was sophomore year in high school, and, I t like, in my last um, story time, I told you guys um, I was friends with this girl named Crazy Girl. That's her nickname I'm giving her because she doesn't deserve to have her name in YouTube. So, Crazy Girl and I were friends freshman year sophomore year and in the middle of sophomore year our friendship kind of died out and um in freshman year me crystal and crazy girl hung out and we hung out with like three other girls so we already knew crazy girl was crazy in freshman year and sophomore year we didn't like our friendship died out was because she wasn't always in school like she would be in school for one month and then the next month she we wouldn't see her for weeks like you know she would just disappear she was in and out of school all the time and so in 10th grade that's when i met my boyfriend well that's when me and my boyfriend started dating in 10th grade and so did crystal and her boyfriend that's when they started dating in 10th grade and crystal boyfriend and my boyfriend they were friends and we all hung out with the same group of people. So we were always together throughout school. Um, when Crazy Girl got back, everything was different from how it was freshman year. When freshman year, it was just the girls and we would just be sitting and chilling with each other. Sophomore year, it was us, our boyfriends, and our whole friends. Like, it was just a group of us that hung out together. So, so it'll, our circle was the type of circle where it was like we were like family and we had each other back like no other. So definitely held it down so when crazy girl got back things were totally different like from the way we dressed from the people we hung out not because they changed us it was because we were growing as people you know we wasn't the same people in freshman year you know so when she got back she felt the way because she felt like everything were changing and all this stuff so this one girl that we did hang out with um her and crazy girl linked up together as like talking about us because that one girl was because um she didn't have a boyfriend in that group and crazy girl didn't have a um boyfriend in that group either so with me and crystal we always hung out and our boyfriends and stuff hung out too so they hooked up because they didn't really really hang out with them like that they wasn't you know they wasn't as close to the people like i was close to them so i'm trying to explain it but you know without saying names so it's kind of hard because i don't say anybody's name because they're not worth it <laughs> so anyway let's get so now that crazy girl felt like everything was different she distanced herself from us or whatever and she was hanging out with this other girl that used to hang out with us too so um sooner or later i don't know how we stopped talking but we stopped talking and they would just like talk a whole bunch of crap about us or whatever and like give us dirty looks and like just that like just starting to start drama over nothing so it was really annoying that they did that because it was like y'all stop talking to us for no reason you know and so after that whole situation um now sophomore year we they the the drama the drama created now fast forward to junior year where we already knew who we were. We already knew who our friends were. We hung out with the same people all the time. We was with our boyfriends all the time and all this stuff, you know? And um, the beginning of the weeks of school, things start escalating to things that it should not even be escalated to. So I came across, well, Crystal came across a Facebook post saying that one of the girls that we had a problem with, she was like, it's on site when I see these bitches. So clearly we know she's talking about us because she has a problem with us. So I'm like, okay, cool, no problem. So what does that mean, like it's on site? Honestly, I did not take her post as a threat. I did not take her post as a threat because that bitch didn't scare me. <laughs> so I didn't take her post as a threat. So Crystal, she didn't take it as, she didn't take, I think she took it as a threat, but the way Crystal is is that 
she doesn't ever have her guard down. Like, she doesn't trust people, so she's always going to have her guard up, and she's always going to be ready. So, that's how she is. So, she was like, Brie, yo, she's saying it's on site on Monday, it's on site on Monday. So, I take that as a threat. So, she was telling me, like, yo, you should definitely, like, don't dress up. Because she know when I go to school, I dress up. I dress in cute outfits and stuff like that. I'm like, I'm not thinking about these bitches. My birthday is on Tuesday. Monday, I'm going to look cute. Tuesday, I'm going to look cute. I don't give a fuck about these bitches. So, Crystal was like, yo, Brie, for real, like, don't dress up. Don't come to school with your hair down, wear your hair up in a ponytail, wear comfortable clothes. I'm like, no, like, I'm not doing that. So, I was um, like, yo, why did you come to school like that? Like, they, I don't, she was like, I don't trust these bitches. Like, if they say it's on site, it's on site. Like, I don't take that lightly. I'm like, Crystal, don't worry about it or whatever. So, she's like, Brie, like, just, she's like, I just hope nothing happens. So, we get in school, everybody, like, I'm having a good day. Or whatever, and I realized that my one of my other people went to the lunchroom. It's lunchtime now, and next thing you know, one of crazy girlfriends who had a problem with us, she come the one that, she's the one that made the post and was like, "It's on site on on Monday or whatever." So she's the one that made the post, and she came up to us and she just like, "Fuck out of here! If y'all got something to say, say it. I'm not pussy. If you got a problem, you got a problem." Da -da -da. First of all, first of all, she is pussy because she did all this. And when the security guard came, she got even hyper. So what I did not like is that she, like, flipped my hair. She was like, y'all bitches think y'all all that. And she touched my hair. And I was like, don't do that. I was like, don't do that. I was like, that's going to get your ass whooped. Don't do that. So Krista was like, just let it go. So the security guard came and got her or whatever. And she's still wilding because you know how bitches are when security come. Fuck out of here. Fuck those bitches. And I'm like, okay, sweetie. We're all standing there. So they like, what y'all gonna do, jump her? I'm like, we're not gonna jump nobody because we don't do that. But we're all gonna stand together because we're friends. And that's what we do. Like, y'all not gonna just roll, run up on none of us. And we're not gonna have each other's back. Period. So she was like, fuck out of here. All of us pussy. So I'm like, okay, whatever. Next. So then my teacher, she came. And she was like, you should come upstairs because I don't want you to get into anything. I'm like, nobody is fighting. I'm chilling. It's lunch. I don't care about what they're talking about. So I don't know why everybody had a vibe that something was going to go down. But everybody had a vibe that something was going to go down other than me. Like, I did not have no vibe as to anything was going to go down. So now we, um, we come, we, I go back into the lunchroom or whatever. And next thing you know, um crazy girl sitting on the thing before anything happened after the crazy girlfriend came to me and she was talking all that rah rah shit um three fights three fights had popped off between three different groups of kids like it's just like she i guess she triggered everything like okay she confronted somebody she had a problem with i'm gonna confront somebody that had a problem everybody's just like scandaling around because they're like yo this shit is crazy so now after my teacher said something to me, I went back into the cafeteria, and I was talking to my friend, and next thing you know, crazy girl was like, you better not be over there talking to shit. I was like, who's talking shit? Like, what are you talking about? I was like, nobody's talking about anything about you. So she's like, oh, whatever, I will come over there and fuck you up. So I'm like, if you feel that way, do you? Like, I don't really care. Let me tell you something. I'm not a fighter, but don't approach me don't touch me and you won't get so <laughs> she felt like it was okay to come step to me so i dropped my bag because i'm like i already know how bitches roll like they try to catch you off guard and it's not gonna happen so next thing you know she grabbed me by my ears like this like she didn't even go for my hair she grabbed me by my ears like this and we start fighting so i'm fighting we're fighting or whatever like my hair is all over my head because i didn't have my hair in a ponytail and it was all over my head, and all I remember was, like, coming up like this, like, I'm gonna fuck that bitch up. She should try to fucking touch me, or whatever, da, da, da. So my principal is holding me, and the security guard is holding me, and they lash cuffs on me. And I'm like, get these fucking cuffs off me, because I'm gonna fuck that bitch up. <laughs> so she's like, I was like, get these cuffs off me, get these fucking cuffs off me. I was, I was not playing, so... We're outside the lunchroom, and next thing you know, I see Crystal coming out, and they have her. And I see my boyfriend coming out, and they have him. And we're all going upstairs. So I'm like, why are they taking them out or whatever? 
So I'm like, Crystal, what's going on? She's like, that they try to jump her. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. So apparently, while I was fighting, one of Crazy Girl friends thought it was cool to try to jump into the fight. And my boyfriend grabbed her arm before she tried to punch me. And after he grabbed her arm, um, my best friend Crystal, she <laughs> clocked her in the face. Like, that's you're not going to try to jump their friend or their girlfriend. Like, it's just not going to happen. So... We go upstairs, I'm sitting in the office, I'm like, yo, get these fucking cuffs off me, I'm calm, and I see them all sitting in the um, dean's office, I'm like, y'all put me in that room with them, I'm fucking them all up, like, I don't care, and then so, they're like, okay, 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 relax, I'm like, I'm very calm, just call my mother, like, legit, my mother is my lawyer when it comes to school, because you're not gonna pop on her child and think it's okay, so, I'm like, get these cuffs off me, like, I don't wanna hear nothing, get them off of me. So now they're all laughing, but I'm like, why are you laughing? You have a fucking ice pack on your eye, right? So my principal is like, Brianna, you was really fighting to kill. Like, I was like, because they're not going to touch me and think it's okay. I was like, that's not cool. I'm like, you going to think you're going to touch me and think that's okay? I'm really sitting here like this in handcuffs talking. First of all, I'm too cute to be in handcuffs. So you need to get these shits off of me. So they finally agreed to get the handcuffs off me. And it was like, if you run out the room to try to hit them, we are going to expel you. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, I just want to know what happened. Why is Crystal and my boyfriend in the dean's office? So they was like, oh, your boyfriend jumped into a girl's fight. And I'm like, he didn't jump into a girl fight. He was not going to stand there and let nobody touch his girlfriend. So, of course, like, you don't do that. So, he grabbed her, and he got suspended, and Crystal got suspended, and I got suspended. And I told my dean it was my birthday tomorrow. So, she wrote on my suspension letter, happy birthday, enjoy, bitch. So, I was like, wow. And then, while we're in the dean's office, you know, now our parents is up in the office or whatever and we're all talking so my mother's like why y'all questioning our children first of all it was already a brawl so they already had shut down the school or whatever they had the school on lockdown nobody couldn't leave nobody couldn't get in and the police came in and they was talking to us to see what happened and i got a fucking 50 dollar ticket for fighting disorderly conduct according to the law so my mom was like, why y'all question unaged kids by themselves with police officers and all this stuff? And then my mother was like, how are you going to fight Brianna and you was at my house? Mind you, me and Crazy Girl, we were cool. She used to, she came to my house once and my mother fed her. My mother had gave her money because my, she helped my mother with the groceries and stuff. And my mother is just nice like that. And plus, she was wearing my clothes too. And this bitch want to talk shit about me and try to fight me. And my mother was like, you be wearing my daughter's clothes you be at my house and stuff. And her mother did not, like, even have her back not one bit. Like, my mother, she's always going to have my back no matter what. Wrong or right. In front of people, she's going to have my back. So, all I know is that she's like, I didn't even... My mother was like, why did you even fight her? In reality, in reality, she did not want to fight me. She went to fight Crystal because that's who she mainly had a problem with. But, you know, bitches always go to the person that they feel like is the weak link. And she came towards me. And so, I was like, yo, whatever. So, she was like, oh, I didn't I didn't want to fight Brianna. I don't know why we fought. And, like, try to give me a hug. And I'm like, are you kidding? Like, this bitch is sick in her head. Like, you just attack me and you think you're going to hug me? Like, no. So she's like, oh, it's all because he said, she said, and one of our friends who, after we all stopped talking, only one of our friends was cool with all of us. She was still cool with all of us. And she tried to throw her under the bus and say she was the, like, she was the middleman and she was the one going back and forth telling us, telling us stuff. Honestly, she didn't really tell us anything about them. I don't know if she told them stuff about us, but I know she didn't tell us anything about them like we didn't even care to ask anything she didn't tell us anything about them so i got handcuffs i didn't get taken downtown thank god because i don't got time for that and i got suspended for five days and after the suspension was over we all went back to school and they still was trying to start rumors and start trauma basically dumb rumors and then crazy girl had the fucking nerve to hit my boyfriend up 
and was like, wow, Brie got you on a tight leash like that, that you don't even say hi to me no more in the hallway. First of all, him and her were never fucking friends in the first place. The only reason why he said hi to her was because she was my friend. And it's just out of respect to say hello to people's friend when they're with you, you know? So, I was like, is this bitch dumb? And she, they were just starting rumors. They were going to people that we didn't really talk to like that. They was clicking up together because, you know, it was a whole bunch of girls that didn't like me. And they were all clicking up together. I'm just so happy <laughs> that I'm out of high school. That's what happened. And I still went out and I still had fun. I only had seven days off from school, which was even more cool because I don't really like school anyway. So, yeah, that's pretty much. That's my story time. So, if you want to hear more story times, please comment down below. And thank you guys for watching.